Dysphoria is a short game about gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is the distress that a person feels due to a mismatch between their gender identity and their assigned sex at birth. As seen throughout this week's lectures, there is a growing amount of attention when it comes to out groups and these groups being represented in video games. Historically, the characters in these games tend to be straight males, which doesn't reflect the players of these games. The game is very simple, as it played with the arrow keys and allows and follows an unalterable storyline. The gameplay forces the player to follow Anna Anthropy's personal experience with hormone therapy through a series of quick mini games. It is broken up into four levels, which take you through different phases of her experience. Through simple mechanics and a mix of graphics and text, we join Anthropy on her journey, which begins with a lot of frustration, however, ends on a note of hope. The first phase is titled Gender Bullshit. This level includes mini games, which highlights the initial struggles that the trans person goes through. Some of these things include clothes that don't fit and being called the wrong name. The following level is called Medical Bullshit. This level, which I'm currently on, demonstrates the challenges in coming forward to make a change and how daunting it can be. The following stage is called Hormonal Bullshit. Here, the effects of medicine are shown, along with the changes that the body is going to go through as a result of this. The final stage is called It Gets Better. Here, it shows how some things are going to progress and, then as, a, and as a result, how you'll feel a lot better, yet there will still be some challenges. The game overall is important because representation of these groups matters. This is the case as when people from, from in-groups know and learn more about these out-groups, then they are generally more sympathetic towards them and understand more about them. Despite this, there is no way of truly understanding what it is like to be a trans, as in this game you can turn it off, whereas in real life, people cannot change the way that they are. The experience acts as both a personal diary, but also a shared experience with other people. Thus it is serving the purpose of supporting other people going through the same thing, but also providing an insight into the difficulties that, tr that the trans community faces daily.